What do you say we spend a little time in the garden today? All right, all right, all right. Well, actually, it's 19 degrees outside, and I think we don't need to spend a little time in the garden today. How about we head back in and talk about spring gardening by the fire? So that was just a little fun out by the garden. If you uh, follow Haas Tools and watch the Row by Row show, then you know Travis over at Haas Tools uh, does an intro like that a lot. Like I said, it's 19 degrees outside and I will not be spending any time in the garden today except going out and checking the chickens and gathering eggs. But while I'm outside, I want to throw some logs on the fire. And I do want to try to brighten your day if it's cold in your area, which uh, it probably is if you're in the U.S by looking back at our spring garden. We made it out of the cold and we made it back into the house and Cassie made it home. So, so stick around to the end because yesterday Cassie was gone doing some coaching and I had the kids come in and talk about the garden a little bit and exactly what they like and what they like to eat and that type of thing. So you definitely don't want to miss that, uh, just stick around. So we got a package from Haas tools so we really like ordering stuff from Haas tools we purchased some seeds in the past and they have had an excellent germination rate our uh, first seeds though from Haas came from Chad and Case and Adler over at Adler Farms and they were sunflowers and they kind of got us all got us started in the Haas tools stuff Haas tools sunflowers did really good and they didn't get to be the tallest that we've seen in the competition that we uh, took part in last year but they did excellent, I felt like, for our climate and our soil. And we and, didn't really do anything to them. Yeah, and the first time growing it, we had a really good experience. So thank you, um, Chad and uh, Adler and Case over there at um, Adler Farms for those seeds. We are going to go through a few things that we're planning to plant in our spring garden this year. So Cassie, what seeds do you have? I got sparkler radishes, gold nugget carrots, and Olympus carrots. So Cassie's always the radish fan. She requests them every year and we make sure and plant them in the spring. 
I have a baby leaf lettuce mix, a salad bowl green lettuce, and we also have some of the cool stickers that they sent. I think we added our stickers they sent us last year on the Traeger, right? Yeah, those stickers went on the Traeger, and I think I'm going to put these on my garden tiller. So what says I'm a gardener more than uh, <laughs> POS tools stickers on your garden tiller? Uh, we also wanted to let everybody know that we have a link down in our description below that if you guys go over and um, order from POS tools using that link, then we get a little bit of support back to our farm, and we might be able to even buy a few more seeds. Yeah, so if you're planning to uh, purchase things from them, we've got the um, bucket that you put the, the what's that called? Uh, the picking bucket. Yeah. So I think if you guys just saw that uh, video, there were several images in that um, video of that picking bucket. Yeah, and it's it's been a big help. It's been really handy. And then we've got, we got a scrubber for the corn. Uh, Gary's got his hat. And we picked up a few other things, so um, go over and check them out. And if you decide that there's stuff on the website that you uh, like and you're going to buy some seeds or some other things, um, just make sure you click on our link in the description and that uh, shows that you're going through us. And like Gary said, it gives us a little bit um, kickback to put back into the farm and purchase some other things. So we also plan to do some more um, things. These aren't the only things we'll plant in our spring garden. Uh, but these are the things we got from Haas Tools so far. We also like to support our local garden stores. So we have um, a few in the area, one over at Pryor, my local feed store. I always get my corn seed from them and other stuff. So I think if you can buy some stuff from you know small uh, business owners like Haas Tools, that's great. But also support your local uh, feed stores and that type of thing if they have things you want as well. So keep watching for future videos when we get our spring garden um, prepared, when we start putting things um, in the soil. And again, we appreciate our friends over at Haas Tools. Um, like Gary said, they're small family owned and operated business. They do an amazing job. And so far we've been happy with everything. So head over there. Uh, they got Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, YouTube. They got all sorts of stuff. Tell them Walker Farm Fam sent you and check them out. Yeah, they have a row by row garden show. So that's what one of the stickers advertised. That's a weekly um, view up there on YouTube. Yeah, so on all their social media sites, they're always throwing out words of wisdom and how to do things, and they're really good at what they do. They're also really good about um, getting back to you if you have questions and things. They're really good about interacting with those that are out there uh, to give them more knowledge. Yeah, they have way more garden knowledge than I have. They know how to grow the big gardens that can feed a lot of people. Um, we kind of do a smaller garden just for our family, but if you're interested in growing a huge garden and getting all kinds of produce, you definitely want to check them out. So like I said last night while Cassie was gone, uh, it's still freezing cold outside, so we wouldn't, weren't able to do anything outside with the kids. So I pulled them in here one at a time and asked them a few questions about the garden uh, you definitely don't want to miss that, and we'll show that right now. I want to go through some questions with the kids. I thought this would be fun because you never know what the kids are going to say, and they are a big part of our garden here on the farm. Mazzy, come on in. <laughs> you can't see her silly dance as she dances in here. Can I show it? No, you can't show them because you can't see it all. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> All right, you ready for your... It's very funny. Daddy was out in the garden, and it was 19 degrees. But, do you remember our garden last summer? It wasn't anything like that. It was nice and warm, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, so I've got some questions for you about the garden. You ready to answer them? Okay. What was your favorite thing about the garden? Picking things. Picking things? Mazzy is a great helper, and she was always out there with me when it was time to pick stuff. <gasps> Mazzy, you ready for your second question? Yeah. All right. Mazzy, what is your favorite thing to eat from the garden? Corn on the cob. Corn on the cob. Okay, last question. What was the best thing about the garden last year? Uh, the sweet potatoes that look like a baby. The sweet potatoes that look like a baby? I don't know if you guys remember whenever we grew sweet potatoes. 
And it's actually the size of a baby. They were huge. So some of them were like that long. And they had it's like as big as different as shapes. Arm. As big as an arm, I think is what we said. So Mazzy really liked the sweet potatoes that looked like a baby. And she liked the ears of corn and picking things. Okay, Mazzy, the final question. Are you going to help Daddy in the garden this year? No. What? <laughs> You're not going to help me? Please? Just a little bit. All right. She said she's going to help. Because I don't want to get messy. Okay, well, you ready to tell Ransom to come answer his questions? Yeah. All right. We have Ransom in the room with us. So, Ransom. I've got some questions about our garden. Do you remember when we grew our garden this year? Yeah. So, did you like growing a garden? You did? All right, here comes the questions. You ready? Mm -hmm. What is your favorite thing about the garden? Um, um, um planting seeds. Planting seeds? You like planting the little bitty seeds? No, the big, big seeds. The big seeds, like pumpkin seeds, that was a lot of fun. Well, they didn't grow. The pumpkins? Yeah. So this year, our dog Hank chewed up our pumpkins. They only got about this tall, and then he got to get in the garden and chew them up. So we're hoping this year we have better luck with the pumpkins, right? All right, ready for your next question? Mm -hmm. What do you like to eat from the garden? Um, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we didn't even grow any pumpkins this year. Pie. You like pumpkin pie? Well, Ransom's favorite thing to eat from the garden is pumpkin pie. So hopefully this year we'll get some real pumpkins. And we can eat pumpkin pie. Yes. All right, Ransom, last question. What? what was the best thing about our garden last year? Um, Daddy went to water the plants. When we went to water the plants? That's my favorite, favorite plant. You liked watering the best? I thought Sissy was going to say watering and she didn't say that because she really likes to water too. So, are you going to help Daddy in the garden this year? Alright, high five. Ransom's a great helper in the garden and we can't wait to get um, our new stuff in the garden and get it to growing, right Bo? Yeah, the, uh, the garden, um, a, a guy did it. A guy did what? Um, well, do you know, um, the Evergarden? Mm-hmm. Back of the shop? Mm hmm Um, a guy did it. A died. Oh, it died? Yeah. Yeah, the garden behind the shop died. The okra died, the watermelons, because it got cold outside. Well, we can plant a new one. That's right. That's the best, one of the best things about gardening is you get a Another chance every year to completely redo it. If you don't like what you did before, then you can change it and do something different. Yeah. Like put a fence around it so Hank can't eat our pumpkins. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next time we'll do that. All right. What do you want to tell him before you go? Um, I think next year I'm going to start soccer back up. Start soccer back up? Mm -hmm. You're going to do a great job. I know it. I'm going to blast. Score so fast. Yes, you're going to score the fastest on the team? Yeah, because I'm the fastest now. Alright, we'll see. Won't be long. Nope. Alright, let's see if Bubba's ready. Last, and certainly not least, is my biggest helper, Ranger. He is a huge help in the garden every year. You ready for your questions? Mm -hmm. Alright, question number one. What is your favorite thing about the garden? Mm -hmm. Eating out. Eating the things in Eat, it. Eating things in it? That's one of my favorite things is being able to go outside and pick out two or three things and bring it inside and help helps make dinner and stuff. Um, I love to eat things too, bud. So what do you like to eat from the garden? Tomatoes. Tomatoes? That was fast. The other ones had to think about it. So since you like tomatoes, do you like cherry tomatoes or the big tomatoes? Cherry. Cherry tomatoes? They are really yummy, aren't they? Especially when they're fresh from the garden, they have all kinds of flavor. And your very last question is, what was the best thing about our garden this year? Tomatoes. The tomatoes? They did get way taller than our tomatoes did last year. They were 
um, about six foot tall. They were a little bit taller than me, and they were completely loaded. We never had any problems, did we? And they were super good. They were super yummy. All right, that's all the questions I have. Hey, one last thing. Are you going to help Daddy in the garden this year? Awesome. Thank you, buddy. Since we involved the kids so much in the garden, I thought it would be fun to uh, just ask them a few questions. I didn't tell them before they came in here what I was going to ask. So you got the real answers, but I can honestly say that they all love pitching in and helping out in the garden. So thank you guys so much for following along. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope that in the middle of this really cold time, that just the pictures of our garden in the middle of summer and maybe some of the kids' response warmed up um, your heart and soul a little bit. And I hope it got you excited for the upcoming garden season because in 60 days, we'll be planting stuff in the ground and our um, average temperatures will be in the 50s and 60s. So it won't be long and we'll have a brighter outlook outside just like we do inside. So thank you guys for following along. We hope you have a great day. God bless and we'll see you next time.